First play is a pass, and it's caught by Corey Reed. 43 to 7 win in the last game for Jackson State. The handoff for Tyson Alexander. Quickly look for him to tuck and call his own number running the football. Opening series. Christian Clark, number 94, right up the middle. If he gets into your backfield, that's just not fair. You cannot have a 360-pound defensive tackle tackling your 190-pound running back in the back. That's their chance. <laughs> <laughs> Call the game. <laughs> Good stuff. Jones, back in action for Jackson. As we mentioned in the open, Dalen Baldwin has been the one. And when you talk to opposing coaches, they've said they didn't realize how strong, physical, and fast this receiving core is. Jones on the rollout, the pass is in. Up the yard, is running the football, nothing's there. Looks like Alabama State bringing pressure here on third down. Jones over the middle, the pass is caught, look out, it's Reed, and he had down by Ronnie Eccles. A third and three, big wide receiver, you have the best wide receiver court in the conference. Get it to your playmakers in space, and look at the run after catch. And the size differential there as uh, Eccles is trying to tackle Reed defensive backs nightmare four wide receivers set Warren Newman in motion he's a good one as well and it goes right out to him he's got it oh but he gets Dex Alabama State can get the win today for them their season always comes down to them versus Alabama A&M either way that's their in-state rival look out big third and 12 and it's picked Daniel Troutman number 17 and coaches say he's always going to be in the right place at the right time and they were trying to go for a one-on-one -on -one matchup with Dalen Baldwin, but great safety help over the top. Got to find another place to go with the football in that situation. And a great job of coming up with the big play by Troutman on the... They have it back on offense from their own 33-yard line, first and 10. Tyson Alexander... Talk about Tyson Alexander's a running back that they like to run off tackle. So the wide receivers were good covered down the field. But you got when you recognize run... On Alexander, is they like to bounce him outside the eastern part of the conference. So Jackson State trying to help ensure a chance to make it to the SWAC championship, and Alabama State realizes it's kind of do or die for this. Try to exploit them, and that's just the nature of the game of football. You're a really good team, and you can adjust to other teams' adjustment towards you. Both teams one and three on third down, one for three, and they tried to. This is just good recognition by the black jerseys. They're not falling for the pass rush throw. Could have been right now. I think, you know, right now, Jones has been throwing it. But one thing they like to do is establish the run. I look for Jackson State trying to force me to run. I still think, you know, when they're rolling, they establish the run game. Then they hurt you with the wide receivers in the passing game. Jones has passed, and that's, and that's not going to help the cause either, Jason. Now third. Reed number nine or Newman number 10. 10 is Newman. He's in motion at the top of the screen. Jones, third and 13. It's a keeper on the safe play right to the stranglehold on that commissioner's cup. Jalen Jones on first down, and he has his man. It's Corey Reed who makes the catch for the first up. You're going to be a six foot three inch wide receiver. Play big. Release upfield this back shoulder throw. Swim the defensive back for. The guy, the catch looked extremely simple. Four catches. One covered without a safety. No safety help. So that's going to be where they try and throw the football. Well, he was down at the bottom of the screen. That's five. He's their best cover cornerback. So he's going to follow Baldwin across the field. And they're just saying down the field, that shove. Uh, need to move his feet. So when they put state here for the Tigers. Inside four, those are 300 pounders, and they just don't move. Well, you said it, and then again, they stopped Alexander. Not much happening there on a second. Yeah, just filling it in and, and watch number six come in and finish them off. You want to leave your feet, there's nowhere to go. The big fellas stuffing the line of scrimmage. The mellow With just 0.6 yards per rush thus far in this game. Third and five, big play here. Pass is caught on the catch. Baldwin and one man-to-man -man coverage with no safety help. Good job by Jones looking the safety off and holding him to the middle of the field. And then coming back and hitting the skinny post. Another late flag. I think this is coming back, Jay. Yep, ineligible downfield. 
was the call. If you're in the black jersey, just keep everything in front of you. Play quarters, keep it in front of you. Come up, make a tackle. So his first interception of the campaign and good field position here inside the 30. A shot from Jones to the end zone. It's incomplete. They are recognizing and getting this one on one coverage. Saw the offensive numbers as the pass is caught by Warren Newman. Kick the football. This is four down territory. They don't get it here. They're going to go for it. Jones is finding some running lanes for him and letting his athleticism take over. Five yard pickup of the first. Now Jones, and this pass is almost intercepted. Looking. Break on the ball. Ball thrown slightly ahead of the receiver, which allowed Burgess to be in better position. Then Reed, that's just a nice break on the ball. I don't know how much I want to cover Corey Reed with the right. freshman cornerback. It was a tough cover today. Jones again in a third and ten. Right back to it, setting up the screen. Newman, and he's taken early on this year. I think this drive right now, you're going to see the Tigers. I think Jackson State's going to step it up right now, and you're going to see what they can do points. Yeah, Coach Bryant's group on the offensive line, a little bit more experienced than Alabama State, but you got to credit that Alabama State defense. And they does this with the pressure up the middle, but you see a good job by number 45, Lampersaw, getting in the passing lane. Third and 10 now to get the for ball Jackson number State. 10 right now. Talking about Warren Newman, the wide receiver, and instead it's incomplete. They wanted now keep an eye at the top of your screen for number nine, Corey Reed. That's where they want to go all day. Instead, it's a handoff to Alexander, and he's going nowhere. I think they're frustrated they have not been able to establish the running game. Look out. Jones gets rid of it. As they came with the pressure, the catch is made by Richie. That's fantastic job. He has his back turned to the defense, which can scare you as a quarterback, but he doesn't get rattled, sidesteps, completes the ball to his tight end and pick up big yardage. 19 yard gain. Now he takes off for the end zone. And with the rule, with the helmet coming off, he has to leave the game for a play in short of the end zone. They don't have to come out for a play, and they'll probably bring in Quincy Casey. But look at that. Jalen Jones giving up his body. Trying to get into the end zone. A good move. And you would set it from the two yard oh, line. No. Tacking down. They call him Bubba. And watch Bubba shoot the gap and beat at the handoff. Half. Look at this again. I mean, and that's just you know, too much attention being played to Christian. Right close. Find a matchup you like and give him one of those 50 50 balls. Warren Newman in motion. Third and goal. Jackson State. Jones to the end zone. Sense of urgency. Jones knows he's going to get hit as Bubba Adams was there. But I think on locker room trailing. Be an opportunity for Coach to do some halftime adjustments. Well, here is and I, I hear a sense of urgency in your voice like you, you want to see him step on it and try and get the ball downfield. Well, they're getting helped out right now by the Alabama State defense. Here it is. Baldwin, the intended receiver. Yep. It's a good call. Look at that. Call Pepper. Being held by the defensive man of state. Ball at the 40 yard line. Johnson, it's one on one coverage all over the field. You have to make them pay. In that case, there, they tried to force the ball to a comeback curl route to Warren Newman, but safety's going high. So now. Alabama State showed them a pressure look, then they went back to a more conservative look. They sweat. Third and nine. Jones, low throw. I think it was tipped. The ball was yeah, tipped at the line, but on the turf. And, and I think, I think there's some teaching going on. Couldn't get the four going on the down marker. Head up. Here we go, Jones taking a shot. It is Cody. Let's see it again. Yeah, yeah clearly out there, but but that's a warning shot for the second half. <laughs> that's letting you know. Damon Ball was the guy where you may have to get some more help over there. Just missed on a big connection. Yeah, yeah Coach Hill Illy and defensive coordinator Travis Pearson. Nice job in that first half. Can they continue it here in the second? The state has the best wide receiver trio in the conference. They weren't able to get the end zone. 
Jones takes off and runs. Huge hole all the way in the given play. But a good job. Design quarterback draw makes a tackler miss in the backfield. And although he's been battling a nagging hamstring injury. 41 yards, the longest play of the day for either team here today. And now Jones has to chuck it away as pressure. That bothers him at all, throwing the football in the second half. Yeah, that was a step in too. Look at look at the footwork. Kind of stayed flat footed, didn't have that bounce normally like so normally. We will keep an eye on it here. Third and ten. Well, now he's gonna take off and run. Two for eleven on third down, and they will chase. And the athleticism and the toughness. I mean, design quarterback draw. He knows I have to make and you're just not gonna tackle Jalen Jones with defensive lineman. Twelve yards on the game. Now another throw away is again more. Empty backfield, five wide on second down. the passer. Defense number four. 15 yard penalty, automatic first down. Ball was bad and they put a hit on him. And I'm going to give credit to Jones on that one because on the previous play, he talked to the official about they hit. Ten. It's done a four minutes gone by, and Jones is taking. Because every time they bring this blitz, Adams is getting to Jones. Jones. Loss of two, Alabama State again, hoping for another red zone stop and force another field goal. It's a 20-yard line, four wide receiver set. Jones. Pressure coming in. Joe's trying to escape. He's going to fumble the football. And it is recovered. Field goal was a possibility, but when you take a sack of this nature, moving back the way their kicking game is, you got to be thinking, get rid of the football, but a great job of tracking down a very speedy. At midfield to start this drive, now down only six. Jones has been doing this. He's here at Jackson. He was that dual threat guy that when you see him, he's got legs. He's one of the fastest guys halfway through the third Jones again head down back to take so much contact on design runs another 10 yard gain now they the lead pressure coming in stopping the running backs but can't quite catch the quarterback Third and 11 to the sideline, catches me. Look at that first down reception. Yeah, this is a great job. This is really good coverage by Burgess, the freshman. But he takes a little bit of an aggressive route, thinks he's going to get it. And then let's see if JS, JS, JSU can get it. So it can be done. Second down and nine now. Jackson State in the red zone. Jones fires, caught. Was key. Look at this. I like the design of this play. He's got a deep corner route. He's got an intermediate throw underneath, and he had a short route right in front of him in the flat. Three-level throw. See him find the second level. Nice separate. Three for three in the red zone is Jackson State. Alex in. Jones, keeper, touchdown. <laughs> and you see Jones punching in. It's amazing to me how... Line seems to block a little bit harder when the quarterback's running the football than the running back down in the red zone. For two in this situation. No, I, you know what? It's a great call. It, it really is. Jones here, dropping back, fires. Lead. Worst starting field position of the day for Jackson State, but. And guys run to the sideline. Receivers. Some weeks are going to belong to another, and other weeks it'll be another guy's day. No, you're right, Jay. I mean, a stall the momentum that his offense has built up here and the seven-point lead. Alexander makes a man miss. That's huge. First down run down the sideline. Did he step out? No call. He's still at it. Mr. Excitement makes a defender miss in the open field. And let's see. I don't He stayed in. Think about this, Jay. 
14 carries for 23 yards all day prior to this run for Alexander, and then he just ripped off 48. UFC, excuse me, and they've come back to take a 21-14 advantage now. That snap. Cole Pepper from the corner, number five. He's a cornerback. And trying to change the protection. Right now, second and 16. See if they bring any pressure here. No, it's still just down by a touchdown to the next point. Correct. Swing out pass. Oh, Look it's deflected. Assists from this Newman. They're trying to run the wide receiver screen to. Ball gets in the air. <laughs> Jalen Jones said, I'll take that. You see that in the box score, and they're like, but every time we watched it, it seemed like you kept seeing the green grass. And right. I would have let it stay. Third time. But that was the call. And now it's Jones here. He's in trouble. And he's we talked about until you show you can block it, you're going to see it again. They're bringing linebackers, and they're covering every gap you've got. Almost outran the blitz, but you know when things got tight, they were going to go right back to that blitz. And they're right back on him. And as he throws. I'll tell you after this question, uh, after this play, challenge the fans, get their opinion on something. Jones on the keeper. Ooh. Look out. Quarterback. Well, Jackson State playing Alabama State. Good job picking up off the turf. But you notice JSU faithful think about the red kind of. Oh. That's a good point. This pass almost intercepted here by Davis. There's Sean Davis. Disrupt the timing of Jackson State. Alexander. Jones gets away from pressure. Throws on the line and it's. Watch this slide down to go help his quarterback. Uh oh. <laughs> Better snap it. Bounce. Yeah. Back to the 47 yard line of Alabama State side. The last sequence, and they had a punt. Now they get the benefit of this play. And they called his number. And these are designed quarterback runs. Give credit to Tyson Alexander. His run. rushes for 89 yards. Six of 10 or more this half. Line, bottom of your screen. Eight catches, 99 yards, and a touchdown today. Did they go that it's way? He wants left. Got to get rid of it. Jones fumbles it. And and yes or no, did Skywalker tell you they were bringing that blitz? You were going to see it again at a crucial point. And schematically, they still haven't figured it out. They still haven't figured it out. You have to move your line, call some protection, because a comfortable quarterback loves to see a blitz coming. 20 now from the 27. Here it comes. Pressure again. The pass is caught. <laughs> Knowing he was going to get lit up, here comes the blitz. Still gets rid of it to give his guy a chance to make a great play. Alabama State, who almost had a pick. Instead, it's first and goal. Jones, end zone. In Pass interference. Defense, number five. The foul happened in the end zone. By rule, the ball will be placed on the two-yard line. Automatic first down. Yeah, on Culpepper. Neutron call. Jones. Keeps it and hurts as much just half the distance. Out to the play. Second down. Who's it up? Empty backfield. Jones. Turn around and it's incomplete. Wanted Baldwin. This is one that could have been caught. If he was able to free that second hand. Remaining. Jones oh. drops a snap. Pressure. And he's going to be sacked. Oh, wow. Oh, boy. And an automatic. One on one up top at your wide receiver. Get it to him. Jones on the keeper. And he's inside the fight. You know they like to call quarterback draw down here. Feel comfortable. Let him find the spot. Look out. It's Alexander, and he's going to be strung out. This is a good job by Alexander because 
It appeared as if he was going to be pushed out of bounds around the three-yard line, but the extra effort keep the legs going down. 360-pound D tackle. Jones keeps, gets the touchdown. Post, and that's what he did. Look at this. And, and you take it's on Jones, yeah, for for you can't do that anymore. Four wide receiver set. Jones passes. See the defensive coordinator Travis Pearson, and this is a great break on the ball by this young. Some great wide receivers and doing a good job holding his own. Play fake. Jones up top, and it's. I'm Jalen Jones. If somebody's not coming wide open, I'm looking for a place to take off. To take off. Pressure. And he has to throw. Be mindful if you do elect to run, how much room do you have? Their top target today is with Corey Reed. And a pass. Pass interference. Defense, number 36. Spot foul. Automatic first down. Call, but it was the right call because he did not make a play on the football. Two timeouts remaining for Jackson State. Two tackles. Jones. As if you want to blitz it, but no, you knew this yep, coming. He said he it. There it is. It. <laughs> Jones gets it. Had some safeties deep. No. 52 came on, peeled off. From the 44, Jones. The pass pick. is intercepted. Picked off. Game winning pick. Running the comeback route. Able to get inside, ball thrown a little bit too far inside, and let's give credit too. Let's not take this out of perspective. The fact that Alabama State has beat Jack State again is one.